Parents, teachers, and kids, are you looking for a fun way to explore the great outdoors while searching for different plants, learning about litter, and making some crafts? If so, welcome to Nature Hunt. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm Maria. I'm John. And I'm Miriam from the 2021 Youth Engaged in Library Leadership Program at the San Francisco Public Library. Today we're going to show you the perfect outdoors activity we created called Nature Hunt. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt, but more fun and exciting. All you have to do is print and follow the checklist linked in the description of this video. After your nature hunt, we'll teach you how to create a pretty pencil holder and a special butterfly made out of a toilet paper roll. This activity is great for kids to do with their family, friends, and teachers. Let's get started. In this scavenger hunt, you will take a walk anywhere, around your school, around your neighborhood, or even your own backyard. Our resource list has a map of all San Francisco parks that you can do your scavenger hunt at. During your walk, you will look for different type of plants. First, you will look for a purple, blue, or pink flower. Then, you will look for a red, orange, or yellow flower. After that, try to find a really big plant. Next, find a plant with fruits or vegetables. Lastly, find a special plant that looks unusual compared to the others. After you find a plant in each category, you'll answer some questions on the checklist. They ask you what each plant feels like, what they smell like, and how the plants make you feel. And for all you little artists out there, you'll also draw a picture of the plant. At the bottom of the checklist, you'll mark each time you find trash or litter on your walk. We want this activity to show you how beautiful and interesting nature can be but also how easily it can be ruined if we don't take care of it. Just remember to be careful not to touch any spiky, poisonous, or any other dangerous plants while on your hunt. Common poisonous plants are poisonous oak and ivy, which can be recognized by having three leaves per cluster. An easy way to remember this is leaves of three, let it be. Now I'll be sharing my own scavenger hunt list. I found an unusual shape of a plant and it's a sea plant I found at a beach. It was squishy, it smelled fishy, and something I liked about it was that it was small and green. Now I'll be showing my drawing. Don't forget to color it in. In my neighborhood, I found a fig tree for the find a plant with fruits or vegetables category on the checklist. The leaves felt rough like paper, it smelled like grass, and one thing I like about it is the fruits. And I created a drawing of it, so here's my drawing. After your walk, you probably noticed that there was a lot of trash in nature. Every day, tons of trash is thrown away that pollutes our environment. This trash can end up in animals' homes, our waterways, and food sources. This means that it is harmful to both animals and humans. We need to take care of the earth by being responsible for our trash. If you want to continue learning how to protect our earth, make sure to check out the resource list we created along with this video. It has opportunities and organizations where you can practice taking care of nature. Another way of keeping trash out of our environment is by... Example, please. We're using stuff at our house that no longer has to use. For example, today, we're gonna use this can and make it into a stylish pencil can holder. We can place color pencils in there, markers, and even pens. It's great use. Let's get started. The materials that you will need today will be paper. It doesn't matter if it's constructive paper, or a printer paper. You can use whatever you want to use. Then we need hot and balls, glue, and if you're gonna use a hot glue gun, make sure your parents around. You don't want to get hurt. Sharpies of any kind, or it can be markers, scissors, tape. And make sure with the can, if there's any sharp parts in there, that your parents stand them away. You don't want to get any boo boos. Left. My first step is to cut a piece of paper as tall as a can and the length, which means that it can go around the whole thing this way. So let's get that going. 
after this, you will be decorating one of the sides with drawings of whatever you would like to do. This side will be for another thing later on. So let's take that off. While I wait for the markers to dry up, I don't want to get them all smushed down. I will get the cotton balls, so get your little cotton balls and your glue. Now, you want to place some of the glue In this can, there is some sharp parts, like we said in the beginning. So, when we put the cotton balls on the sharp parts, take these steps until you got them all around. For extra securement, you can place some of the tape on the cotton ball area, so whenever you touch it, it doesn't fall apart. Ta-da! This is how it looks like for now. now with your strip of paper that you've drawn and decorated this side that has nothing glue so that we can place it on our can so make sure it's right head up and then just okay once done and you put enough glue you'll make sure again that it's right head up and you'll place it on the can so And for extra securement, we will place a line of tape right here. Ta-da! Now we're done. So, now you can just place whatever material you want to place into your pencil can holder. Ta-da! Established pencil holder! Along with the pencil holder, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly out of an old toilet paper roll. All you need is the toilet paper roll, a few different colors of construction paper, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and a pencil for making some markings. First, we're gonna cut out all the different shapes of paper we need. Try to keep them separate while you're cutting so that it's more organized later. And parents, make sure to help out with cutting if your kids need it. We need a strip of paper that is the same height as our roll and long enough to roll around it. And this will be the body. And we only need enough to go around our roll. So I'm just gonna roll my roll up in it and cut it off right about there. Next, we need a pair of wings. You can make them any shape you'd like, but I'm making mine this shape. An easy way to make sure they come out the same way on both sides is to just draw half of it and then fold your paper over right in the middle, just like that. And then just cut out your wing. So then once you cut them out, just unfold it, and there you go. You have a full set of wings. And I'm going to be making my wings two different colors. So I'm going to put my wings onto a second color of paper, and then I'm going to fold it again. And I'm just going to cut a, the second set of wings just a little bit bigger. And there we go our wings will end up looking like that. Next, we're going to make eyes. You're going to need a piece of black paper and a piece of white paper. So first, the outside is going to be white. So I'm going to cut out two white circles and I'm going to do the same thing by just folding it in half and then cutting the circle out. So there we go, we have two white eyes. And then the insides of the eyes will be black. So I'm gonna fold my black paper in half and cut out two black circles that are a little bit smaller than the white ones. There we go. And then the black parts will go into the white parts, just like that. And lastly, we need a pair of antennas. So I'm gonna get back that black paper and I'm just gonna cut out two skinny strips of black paper. And then along with that, we're gonna cut out two more small circles to go on the end of each antenna. 
There we go. Perfect. So. And that's it. So let's get to gluing. So first, I'm going to get my glue and put some of that all over my roll. Then I'm going to get that first piece of paper I cut and just roll it up. And this will be the body. Then with our wings, I'm going to take the smaller piece and put some glue and then put that right on top of the bigger one so that you can see both colors. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my toilet paper roll and then stick on the wings. And there you go. So then with the eyes, I'm going to take the smaller black dots and put some glue on them and then put them into the middle of the white box. So once those are good, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of the eye and then just glue them wherever you'd like the face to be. There you go, perfect. And then with our antennas, so we're gonna put some glue on the end of one of the strips and then put the circle right at the end, like that. And once both circles are at both ends of the strips, we're going to put some glue on the front of them. And then we're actually going to glue them on the inside of our toilet paper roll so that they just pop out on the top. And there you go. Now you can add any decorations you'd like. I'm gonna add a smile, but you could use stickers or other colored markers to decorate it. Now you have the perfect toy to play with or room decoration. You could also try to make different insects like a bumblebee. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. We hope you had fun going outside into nature, doing some fun crafts, and learning how to keep our earth clean. We'd also love to see your creations. If you make a pencil holder or butterfly, post it and tag us at the mix at SFPL on Instagram or SF Public Library on Twitter. Also, check out the rest of the Yell 2021 videos if you're looking for more fun from all of us at Yell. See, see you next, next time. time.